In this video we're going to look at E474 error, which is inverter overheating. So the first thing we need to do when we've reset the power and started the unit is check that both the upper and the lower fans are running. The fans are used to cool the inverter. And this is the inverter itself. If you remove this from the unit, on the back is a huge heat sink, which looks like a massive version of this thing here. Okay, so the main problems are that either the inverter PCB has not been screwed in properly, or there's no heat paste. So let's go and have a look at an inverter PCB out of the unit. This is my inverter board, and you can see here that there's a screw hole here, there's a screw hole here, there's another screw hole here, and there's a screw hole here. So every inverter PCB should have four screws done up nice and tightly. If you lose any of these, you've got yourself a problem. But also on the back, when you look at the two components of the inverter, you can see here and here, these are supposed to have white heat paste to make sure the heat goes into the heatsink. So if you've changed the board, you should have put your heat paste in before doing the screws up. But we can also go to the unit and have a look and read this temperature sensor. So let's do that now. At the outdoor unit you can see your main display here and underneath are four buttons. If you press this button here 15 times you'll see it scrolls up, goes to 9 and then goes to A, B, C, D, E and F. F tells me that the inverter is at 19 degrees. If this gets above 60 degrees C you've got a problem. You need to check for your heat paste and check the screws have been put in the unit. That's how to fix the fault. 